Hello Capricorn, welcome to a reading all about how your person is currently thinking or feeling about you. As always, it is meant to be a general love reading, so we're not resonating with every Capricorn watching. Take what resonates to, for you, what applies to your situation. All right, Capricorn, let's get into it for Capricorn, please, Spirit, in regards to love. What do they need to know in regards to love? Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments, good and bad. <laughs> so thank you so much for your support. And I am doing personal readings now. Uh, the link to my Etsy shop is in the description box. If there are limited readings, it's because um, some of the ones that I have are sold out. So check uh, back on Sundays and that's when I tend to relist everything. Okay, so we got four. Okay, we got attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. We got forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past. You experience more love in your present moments. Uh, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Interesting. And trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Interesting. I'm getting like, <laughs> the message that I'm getting is like, I kind of want to say it differently than what I'm hearing it. I don't know how, to, how else to word it. <laughs> so what I'm, what I'm getting is that someone needs to get over their fear of asking for forgiveness. I feel like someone here in this connection has not been putting in as much effort as the other person and there's a lack of trust because now someone doesn't trust someone's intentions. No matter how attracted they are, no matter how good the chemistry is, no matter how good the physical chemistry is, um, it's not enough for this person. They need to see the effort in order to trust again is what I'm seeing so far. Let's see what else we can get for you, Capricorn. For Capricorn, please, Spirit. In regards to love. Okay, Capricorn. Let's see what else we have for you guys. What do they need to know, Spirit? In regards to love. Okay, we got happy family. There could be children involved here for some of you. Okay, we got broken heart. We got anxiety. This is that trust, that lack of trust. Trust is an issue here. And angel of balance. Someone wanting to make things right, wanting to rebalance the situation here. Um, Again, effort must be made in order to, to, to right this ship, you know, like balance doesn't happen on its own. And I feel like this has been a very anxious time in this connection. Maybe this is a family unit. Maybe it appears happy on the outside, but inside there's heartbreak and anxiety and stress. And someone wanting to balance the situation, someone wanting to fix this. Let's see Capricorn. I'm using the Lightseer's Tarot um, and the Energy Oracle cards. So if you're interested in any of the decks I use, they're linked in the description box. For Capricorn, please. What do they need to know in regards to love? Some of you might be dealing with a Leo. They need to know in regards to love. And for some of you, there's definitely children involved here, and that's part of the anxiety. Those are the messages I'm picking up so far. For Capricorn. 
All right, let's get into it. What does Capricorn need to know, Spirit? What do they need to know? Two of Cups reversed. There could be a uh, separation or, or a divide in this partnership because someone was caught cheating or lying or trying to avoid a situation out of cowardice and it's causing someone to hold back here. Someone is no longer giving as much as they were. By the way, we do reversals on this channel, so if you don't like reversals or if you don't understand reversals, I suggest you watch another reader because reversals here are not bad. So it just means the message is different. More clear message, I guess you could say. So King of Pentacles reverse, um, there's no, possibly there's financial instability or uh, selfishness, someone that's greedy or thinks only of themselves in a connection. This is also uh, symbolic of a partner who only cares about money or finances or material things. Um, they're not very grounded or stable and so they, they can't be trusted with money, with responsibilities. Lazy too. Tell me more for Capricorn. Four of Cups. So now that someone realizes who they're dealing with or realizes that this was somebody who, um, you know, they caught someone or someone was found out here doing what they shouldn't have been doing. Now the person that found this out is thinking, you know, they're very unhappy, discontent. They can't believe this is their life is what I just heard. That they have to deal with this on top of everything else. They are uninspired un they lack motivation. They don't even want, they just want to sit down. They don't even want to like do anything about it. You know, two fours here. It's all about stability. Plus happy family is a four stability. There's a lack of stability and security. The foundation is not stable. And so there's like a feeling of not knowing what's coming next, not sure of how to deal with a situation because you don't know what's gonna happen once you get there. What else for Capricorn? Regarding love, Capricorn. That's way too many, but two of wands, interesting. What else for Capricorn? Ace of Wands reversed. So something didn't get off the ground. Something was not able to be manifested, created. There's a delay and a new beginning in, in something that has potential. Bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess reversed. So again, this, this um, someone either was ignoring their intuition about this situation because I don't think this Four of Cups is surprised at what went down. It's almost like they uh, they expected this from someone. That's the energy I'm picking up. So there's no surprise once this person's found out. There's anxiety. There's heart, you know heartbreak because someone wanted it to be different, but their intuition was telling them all along. Yeah, that their wish was not going to be granted that there was no emotional fulfillment here. They knew. Nine of Swords reversed and they're so, it's like they knew, but it's like they still hoped for something else. So now what's gonna happen? Let's see, let's clarify all these. I'm gonna use the same deck here to clarify. Tell me about this Two of Cups reverse, please, for Capricorn. What's this Two of Cups reverse about? Even though we kind of already know, but. You know, I also just heard that you were hoping it would be different because maybe th those that's for those of you that children are involved. You thought the fact that there was children involved would mean that this person would do things differently. 
two of cups reverse. So four of swords, thinking, another four, by the way. Thinking, reflecting, healing, resting. Yeah, there's a lot of heartbreak here. A lot of disappointment with the page of cups reverse. Yeah, and, and there's that anxiety again. Someone's seeing a way out though. Someone's not letting this get them down. It's not the end of the world is what I just heard. Knight of Swords Reverse could be somebody that's seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. And I'm seeing it that way because I have the Four of Swords, which symbolizes um, rest, rejuvenation, healing. So I feel like someone's healing from this or will be healing from this. Tell me about the Seven of Swords Reverse. What's this about? Ten of Cups. So this has to do with family or happiness. Someone went after their happiness. Let's see. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords Reverse. Five of Pentacles Reverse. Strength card Reverse. Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so for a lot of you, what I'm seeing here is someone who did not or does not have the courage to do the right thing regarding a family. Someone here also feels like they've lost control over their emotions because they're, they've been struggling so long. Like they don't have any more to give. That's for some of you. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Leo. The wheel is here though. So there's a change that's going to be brought about this Seven of Swords reverse. There's the Sun reverse. So yeah, definitely a Leo. But what I'm seeing here is um, the wheel is turning and bringing a change. For some reason, this Ten of Cups, I'm not seeing it in, in a good way. Like, it's, it's not a good card for me right now. Like, I'm looking at it and it's almost like this happy family is an illusion. Because underneath, there's deception and avoidance and sneaking off energy. Five of Pentacles reverse is usually someone coming out of struggle, coming out of the cold. Someone who, again, this healing energy. And then strength card reverse is someone who has little control over their emotions. Um, they could also be trying to control a situation too much. But because it's with the five of pentacles reversed, I'm seeing it as someone who is trying to come out of the cold here, but doesn't have the courage or the strength to do so. And then here comes this wheel. This wheel is gonna change everything. And I feel like, yeah. So I have the sun reverse at the bottom, which means something that is Unhappy, yes, but also a lack of light, a lack of clarity, a lack of illumination. Something's been hidden here. And I feel like someone's becoming free from that and going towards something else because this wasn't working. This wasn't stable or grounded. There was just deception. This wheel is going to give someone freedom interesting and it has to do with this family unit or this idea of family maybe someone wants to make things right because of they got caught but they don't have the courage to do it and maybe the wheel is turning to help them 
Let's see. Let's see what else we got. But that Ten of Cups is throwing me off because I'm not getting good energy from it. Tell me about this Four of Pentacles, please. For Capricorn. This wheel is going to bring about balance. And that's like a, a common theme I'm getting in these readings. Seven of Cups reverse. So there's clarity about a situation that was confusing. Someone had options and now they are making one of these or choosing one of these. Eight of Swords. Holding, okay, so someone's holding back here because they're overthinking or feeling trapped. Someone feels trapped. They don't want to give anymore. Yeah, they don't want to give anymore. They don't have anything else to give. I think this is you. Queen of Pentacles reverse, King of Pentacles reverse. You don't want to, this is a partnership that's really broken. If you're in a connection with someone, this is not, it hasn't been healthy for a long time or there's, there. you're not good with each other. I'm also getting the sense that a lot of you that are in this type of connection, it's like you both do your own thing. You both think about each other's, like, like, like Queen of Pentacles focuses on herself. King of Pentacles focuses on himself. So it's like there's a divide. This Queen of Pentacles is no longer giving anything to this King of Pentacles at all. They're evaluating their options and what to do next where to go and they're feeling stuck yeah like this is unfair possibly thinking about a divorce not able to make a clear decision up till now maybe because they didn't have the resources queen of pentacles are re re uh, reverse they lack the resources possibly financially you might be saving your money or thinking about how to to gather your resources, protect your assets, protect yourself to prepare for what's next. What an interesting reading. Okay, tell me about this King of Pentacles reverse. What's this King of Pentacles reversed about? Thank you. Temperance reverse, Sagittarius energy here. Queen of Swords reverse. And the Chariot. Cancer energy. This King of Pentacles wants victory, but I don't think it's going to work out for them because they're dealing with someone who's completely shut off emotionally. So this is not going to come together. This King of Pentacles might literally want to move away or, or change locations or something. Um... Because it's not going their way. Higher front reverse at the bottom towards energy. This is a broken commitment. Yeah. Someone's leaving. Maybe moving away. Leaving towards something more peaceful maybe. And it's because they're breaking this, this contract. So there might be a divorce or a separation here possibly in the past or the present or the future because time is fluid but someone wants to move away because something is not working tell me about the four of cups please what's this four of cups about The tower reverse so one of you in this connection didn't want to have a tower moment occur and so it's like you almost stuck it out and you're unhappy or disappointed because you didn't get anything from that like your sacrifice was in vain yeah nine of cups reverse knight of cups reverse someone possibly was trying to um, tell you that they were also going to try with you and it, it it was not true it's like you got your wish but it wasn't what you thought so it's like someone lied to you about working on something or lied to you about their true intentions bottom of the deck three of swords reversed there could definitely be a third party 
interference here. It could be anything that's interfering in this connection. It could be another romantic partner. It could be family. It could be friends. It could be finances, distance, etc. This Knight of Cups reverse, they tend to just say whatever they need to say to get you off their back or to get what they want. So I feel like someone said something that gave you the idea that a tower moment was going to be avoided and ended up being a lie. Or they didn't really mean it. Um, yeah, look at this. Three of Pentacles reverse right after that and Page of Swords reverse. This was a lie. They lied to you about the third party or they lied to you about their intentions or they lied to you about wanting to work things out. You were putting in more effort than the other person. There's no balance here. Yeah. No love, no balance, no, no new beginning. They probably promised you a new a new beginning and it wasn't the case. And now I'm starting to realize why like I was sorry, I keep hitting the tripod. Well, I was trying to think about these cards here. I didn't think love, you know, I didn't think, oh, this is going to be a partnership that comes together. And I didn't know why I wasn't picking that up. And now I know why. Because someone here, they're going to ask for forgiveness. Possibly they're going to tell you they're going to make the effort. And they're going to ask you to trust them. And because of all of this, you're going to be like, no, I don't believe the word you're saying. Why should I believe you? Tell me about the Ace of Wands reverse. King of Swords reverse. So we have two Kings here reversed and a, and a Queen reverse, two Queens reverse. Tell me more about the ace of and their and their counterparts. Two King of Swords, Queen of Swords reverse, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles reverse. I think this is the same, the same people just showing up twice. But again, if it's not the same, the same people, if there's four people here, regardless, those you're not meant to be with that person, whoever it is. Tell me more about this ace of wands reverse, please. There's that three swords reverse and death. Scorpio energy with death card. This is a rebirth that's gonna take place here. You're gonna have a second chance at, at something new or you're gonna have a new opportunity, a new beginning. It's not with the person that you've been with before. Notice how there's an ace of wands reverse and a death and then rebirth card. It's like a death to what you had before or a death to what didn't work out in order to have a transformation, something new. Tell me more about, okay, and then we got the higher font reverse. So again, it's like there's gonna be a, a, an ending here to a partnership or a connection in order to have a transformation. Tell me more about death, please. Yeah, look at this. Six of Cups and the Lovers. Hello. Look at this. A choice, possibly with the past or a past life connection. This is a very strong connection here. This is what's coming your way, Capricorn. Something innocent and sweet and... It's going to be the right person for you with the lovers. This could be someone from your past, you know, but it's not this person here. Could be a Gemini as well. Yeah, it's not this person here. Look at this. I have the four of wands at the bottom. This is the number, the fourth four we got here. So it's almost like what didn't work out this four of wands reverse this lack of stability this two of cups reverse this this happy family illusion it's like it was meant to bring you to this point to this transformation to something new here it's 
someone's going to choose something else. Yeah, two of swords. Someone's going to choose something else. There's a choice. Some I, I think it's you, Capricorn. There's a new choice here between the head and the heart with the lovers that possibly has to do something with the past or past life type of connection. But it's only going to happen when the, with the higher font reverse with a broken contract or broken commitment. Do you see what I mean? With a death card. I mean, this is literally an ending for, for love. Could be you or the person that you are meant to be with or the person you're dealing with right now. But... Something didn't work out and it was a blessing in disguise. It was never meant to work out is what I just heard. It was, it's almost like it was meant to be a lesson. Um, otherwise I'll leave it here. Capricorn, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your likes, your subscribes, um, your comments. If this resonated with you, please let me know your story. I love to hear from you and, um, yeah, that's it. I hope to see you in another video. Take care.